trying to do. I hear someone talking, but there's no one here. Oh yeah. While in my astral form, I am invisible. Astral form? You will follow me. Come. All right, Vince. Are you ready to get strange? Yeah, I'm ready for this strange review. Well, let's get strange. I'm I'm all strange. I'm all in for strange. So now we have a brand new Marvel film. And as you know, both Vince and myself are Marvel fanboys, and I don't mind saying that I'm a Marvel fanboy because I am. Well, for me, Doctor Strange is actually it's actually one of those Marvel films or Marvel characters that I've been interested in for quite some time. Okay, so this is how I got introduced to Doctor Strange. Years ago, when I was like eight years old, uh, I don't remember if it was my mom or my grandma, but I think my grandma actually bought this for me. And it was a 33 and a third record album. You know, what they call vinyl these days. But it was a 33 and a third record album, and it had like four stories on it. And it was called The Amazing Spider-Man. And it had Spider-Man like really huge on the, on the cover. And I believe it opened up so that you could actually see like panels, like uh, cartoon panels in it. Or it came with a booklet, I can't remember which. But I remember opening up this this great big thing and you could see these comic book panels that followed the stories that you were listening to on the record. And one of the characters in it was Doctor Strange. And he showed up to help Spider-Man fight either the Lizard or the Vulture, or maybe even both. But he showed up in this uh, album and just listening to the album, I, every time I went and saw my grandmother, I was like, I want to listen to Spider-Man. So she put the album on for me, and I, I loved it. I loved the story that they had, and I remember have, picturing what this guy would look like, even looking at the picture uh, and thinking, man, this is just, this would be fantastic as a movie. And, you know, I... I just was so interested in the character. I thought he was a fantastic character. Although I was really interested in his character, I actually have never picked up a Doctor Strange comic at all. Or even a, a comic with him in it with like Spider-Man or the Hulk or Iron Man or whatever. I've seen him. I, what I'm saying is I've never read any. I've picked them up, I've thumbed through them, but I've never actually picked one up and read it. So even though as much as I was interested in this character, I've never known not one thing about him, other than I knew he was a sorcerer. That's pretty much the story time. <laughs> I'm texting right now, go ahead, keep talking. Then came the announcement that they were going to make Do Doctor Strange, and I was like, oh cool, they're going to make a Doctor Strange movie. Then they announced Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange, and I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That, that's Sherlock for you, Vince. I know you've never seen any of them. I said, that's Sherlock for you. I know you've not seen any of them. That's Sherlock for everybody else, but I know you've never seen Sherlock, have you? Sherlock. Oh, you mean like in Sherlock Holmes? Yeah, it was, that's where he came from. That was his most popular thing he does that everybody has gone insane over. Okay. And it's on Netflix, I believe. But we're talking about Doctor Strange, Dave. And when they announced him as Doctor Strange, I was like, yeah, I could totally see that because of watching Sherlock. Well, I said I can totally see that because of the character of Doctor Strange and just the way he looks to begin with. I was not interested in this character whatsoever, but I did go see it because you wanted to go see it. And I went to go see it because you saw it. So I saw it because you saw it. 
But I wanted to go see this because of that reason, because of all those years ago listening to that album and loving that 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 story and that that interest I had in Doctor Strange. I was like, wow, this is going to be really cool. And when I saw the trailer for it, the first trailers I, I saw for it, I was like, wow, that's going to be really good. I can't wait to see this. What? So I went to go see it, and a lot of times, you know, movies can surprise me, and this isn't one of those. I just thought it was okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was okay. I thought it was okay. I did, it did not blow me away. The, the one thing that kind of surprised me about it was that it was funny, and I wasn't really expecting the humor, I guess, from the movie, but there was a lot of one-liners, and Doctor Strange himself was a pretty funny character, and... You know, I wasn't really expecting that. I wasn't sure what to expect from it, but I, I, I was, I was blown away by the special effects. I was blown away by the humor, and I liked it a lot more than you did, obviously. <laughs> but was I blown away by the entire film? No, I can't say that. I can't say it. It, it just blew my mind or anything. There was something about him just going to this mystic and all of a sudden being able to develop a power. I mean, it's like, could anybody do that? I mean, it doesn't really make much sense to me. Uh, why wouldn't it make sense? It's a Marvel film. <laughs> well, most Marvel movies make sense, Vince. I'm saying is like, if you went to this mystic, can you all of a sudden learn the, the dark arts or whatever, the magic or whatever it is that he's learning? Is it, can anyone learn it? It's, it just seemed kind of odd that it, it wasn't inside of him, that he just learned how to do it, because it seemed like the way they were saying in the movie that anybody can learn it, which is really, I found kind of weird. Yeah, he, 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 he didn't realize he had that, that chakra and that aura about him, that he could actually do this. As a matter of fact, they spend a good... And, and this is probably one of the downfalls I had for the film, or one of the disappointments I had in the film, was that, slight disappointments, was that they spent a good 40 minutes going over his origin and training. That's a good portion of the film. Once he finally becomes Doctor Strange, it picks up from there and it's, it's a better film. Like, the second half of the film is much better than the first. Which it was a lot like Captain America, the first Avenger, the first Captain America movie. Now, going back to what you just said, and that's the first thing I said to my wife after I left the theater. I was like, great, it's an origin story. And I, I just hate origin stories. And I know they have to tell the origin of the character, but I just don't like origin. And it, it drives me nuts to have to sit through an hour and a half of how this person became this person. And, and, you know, I, I understand they have to do it, but I want to see afterwards. I don't want to see an hour and a half of somebody becoming somebody. I want to see an actual movie, so I'm hoping the second one will, will be a lot better since that now he's Doctor Strange, and I don't have to sit through all that stuff. Well, see, that's what I was saying about Captain America and his first movie. I sat through that, and like, like I said, the first half of the film, I was... It wasn't that I didn't like the film, it was just, it was almost boring to me just because I had to sit through this whole origin, and once he becomes Captain America, then it takes off from there. But then Captain America the Winter Soldier, which was Captain America 2, I absolutely loved it from beginning to end because it was, it was now he was Captain America, and now it was a Captain America story. So I'm sure the same thing is going to happen for Doctor Strange. Well, I hope so, because there was nothing wrong with the film. You know, it was entertaining, but I just kind of, I was just, like with you were in, in Captain America, which I wasn't in Captain America, but I kind of was bored about it. Even after the whole origin story and the beginning of it, and it gets towards the ending of it, it was just sort of like, you know, all the effects it had almost seen before, because it was a lot like Inception, where the stuff's bending and the buildings are bending, and... It's like, okay, they couldn't have come up with something more original than that? 
I don't know. I actually, I really liked that. I thought it was better than Inception. Yeah, but we've already seen it in the in Inception. Okay, well, I thought this was better. I thought it was done better. It made more sense, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there, were, there was technically nothing wrong with the film. Don't get me wrong. I didn't hate the film. It was just one of those, okay, have to sit there in the origin film again. And once he gets to these magic users, you kind of already know what's going to happen. I mean, you kind of expect the rest of the story to how it's going to play out, and it pretty much plays out like you expect it to. I, I don't know. I I liked the movie altogether. I really enjoyed it. Enjoyed the film, and it's exactly what, especially when he got his cape. Once he got his cape, I was like, "That's it. Now, now it's Doctor Strange." <laughs> and sure enough, from that point on, it's Doctor. It was Doctor Strange, and I was reliving my eight-year-old childhood again. So in all events, what are you going to give Doctor Strange? It was a strange movie, no doubt. <laughs> and I had a lot of fun with it. I thought it was very ingenious. I thought it was very different. And I got exactly what I thought I would get from it. And I enjoyed it. I thought it was... The special effects are just mind-blowing. That's one of the biggest things I can take away from this film is that the special effects were just fantastic and the humor I, I wasn't quite expecting that much humor in it either but it was it was really funny it was kind of like watching house but house being dr strange <laughs> but anyway what i would give dr strange is just exactly this a five out of five And I thought it was one of the weaker Marvel films I've seen in quite a while, actually. Was it terrible? No. The humor was funny. Um, I didn't think the effects were that great. I thought they were good. But again, it's nothing original. It's stuff I've seen in, you know, like I said, Inception. It might have been done better, but it was still Inception. And the story was, eh. Again, origin story, had to sit through it. But, uh... Overall, I would give Doctor Strange a 3 out of 5. No, nah, it was a 5 out of 5 movie. Now that my astral form has returned to merge with my physical being, I grant you welcome, Spider-Man. You didn't even turn around. How did you know I was here? Not for nothing am I called Doctor Strange, Master of the Mystic Arts. In the name of the omnipotent Oshtur, I greet you and bid you watch carefully. There is much you must know and little time to tell it. <laughs> 